What's up, everybody? Welcome to Road to Right. I'm Les Flaherty, and we are here in Barnwell, South Carolina, at the Government Training Institute, the home of the biggest and best freestyle festival of all time, Road to Riot Rampage. And every year, I have done something really special. I've done some really cool projects. For example, a few years ago, we built a ring drone that had 16 motors that would fly in the air and become a mobile race gate. Last year, we built 10 airplanes, and I taught 10 people how to build airplanes out of foam board, and they all got up and flew them in the air. It was amazing. This year I have something really special planned. I want to do a behind the scenes episode. I want to go through the planning process of designing in CAD on screen in front of everybody. I want to 3D print the parts on my Bamboo Lab X1 carbon 3D printer, assemble the project, do all the programming. I got to take what's up in here and I got to put it down there in the project. I don't usually disclose what I'm doing ahead of time, but I'm going to give you guys the secret as to what I'm actually building. Uh, ever since Back to the Future the movie, I've always wanted a flying car. So we're going to make a flying car. Actually, we're going to make a tank that's a tank that's a tank. And it's going to be awesome. So this is a behind-the-scenes episode of what we generally do in the Road Right episode. We're going to involve the community. They're going to help me build it. And then we're going to fly it together and all have a great time at this awesome place that we're blessed to fly at, at Road Right Rampage 2024. Speaking of behind-the-scenes, we've got our camera guy over here. You guys don't usually get to see our cameraman. He's truly behind the scenes, doing all the hard work of editing, and making the movie magic. We appreciate Dan and all of the community. We appreciate you for being here because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I love to do. It's a lot of fun. You guys ready to get started? Let's go inside and build some stuff. Let's go, guys. So we're gonna essentially put wheels on the tank. And yeah. they're gonna be controlled by motors. And it's yeah. gonna be just like a tank on the ground. The way I'm gonna set it up is I'm gonna put it all on the right stick. So forward and backwards gonna go forward and backwards, left and right is gonna go left and right. If you just sit there and do left, it's gonna literally donut itself into an oblivion. I'm gonna take this 3D printed arm protector and I'm essentially going to add more 3D print material to it to mount the motor right to the arm. I'm going to design a 3D printed wheel to go on the motor. Oh. And the, the tank two, as long as you have a tank two, I increased the stack height to 25 millimeter stack height, which is just enough stack height to do extra things that I want to maybe do on the side, like putting double So right now I'm printing one of these arm protectors that we just designed in 3D space and I need to test fit everything and make sure that it fits before we can move on. If everything fits properly, I'm gonna go ahead and print three more of these and we'll have the arm protectors. So then I need to print the wheel and make sure everything lines up properly. Hopefully everything goes well, I can start printing the rest of the parts. We'll find out. I wanna give a huge thank you to Bamboo Lab for sponsoring Rampage. They gave away over 20 3D printers and they created a workshop area for all of the attendees to print and design whatever drone parts they needed. One of the greatest things about this printer and the reason I love it so much is I can literally just hit print and I can come back knowing that it's gonna have a successful print. It automatically levels the bed, it scans the 3D print as you are printing to make sure that there are no failures. It's such a great printer, I can't speak highly enough of it. The Bamboo X1 Carbon Combo comes with the AMS module, which allows you to change filaments mid-print or just pick from whichever filament you want to use for that particular project. The test print just finished on the 3D printer. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the supports, see if it fits on this frame. If it works, we're done for the day, with the exception of the wheel. But if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to make a few design changes. Let's go see if this thing works. Pulled off the printer here. Look at that. Beautiful print from the Bamboo 3D printer. we got to first remove all these supports. I usually use a pair of wire cutters when I remove my supports. It just makes it easier to grab it and grip it and pull it out. It's all textured on the top. Everything came off clean. Let's test this baby on here and see if it fits. Look at that. Perfectly 90 degrees. This fits the arm great. Yeah, I can get to my screws for the motor here and loosen them if I need to. Yeah. I can put my other four screws here for the other motor. I'm going to print the wheel next to make sure that it fits. And if everything's good, then I'm going to start printing the other three for each of these. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> there. And then we got, uh, uh, we got the bottom ESC. We'll just face the capacitor forward. Yep. <laughs> I guess the first wheel. Why is it not? It's 
So it just goes on the arm like this, like the regular quad skids. By the way, guys, I will provide all of the links in the description that will give you the tune for this, uh, the dump files, whatever files you need for the radio settings, and I will give you all the 3D prints so that you can do this project at home if you want. And we're also going to sell these 3D prints in the store in case you don't have your own 3D printer and you want to just buy the 3D prints yourself along with the road right tank and all the parts that are going to make this project possible. Do you think it's gonna hold up? Do you think it's gonna shatter? What do you think is gonna happen? I mean, it looks pretty clean because it's kind of bendable. So. It, it, yeah, it could. Come on, you don't think I'll let you down, do you? Oh man. We're here at Rotorite Rampage for the maiden flight car drive. What is it? Maiden drive, maiden flight, something. Nobody's here watching me. We got all these people here, but they'll probably gather around when they see the excitement now. Oh, that's no problem at all. It's got plenty of force. It's got plenty of thrust. Now we're gonna go to car mode, and we're gonna drive it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's bouncing all over the place. Yes! Best project ever! Cool. I think we did good. Now I gotta get Corey to come and fly the thing. Usually when we do these episodes where I make a really cool project, I go find a Rotor Riot pilot and I put them under the goggles for the first time ever so that I can exceed the expression on their faces, what their experience is. But I'm going to go ahead and fly an FPV. And I got my audience here. We're going to see what it does for the first time ever flying FPV. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. It's so cool. All right, we're going to go. It's so bouncy. Oh my mode. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh man, this is so sick. All right, back to car, back to car. Here we go. Going back to car. <laughs> I'm in car mode. <laughs> go car, go, go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to see if I can spin here. Let's do the spin out. Whoa, oh my gosh, I'm so dizzy. Woo! <laughs> All right, drone mode. Woo! We're gone, guys. Later. <laughs> oh, there's a ring of fire. I'm going to go through the ring of fire. I'll go through the ring of fire and I'm going to land like an airplane. Car mode. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Drone mode. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do a roll. I don't know if we can do a roll or not. I'm going to go out in the middle away from everybody. Oh, no problem. Oh, it's freestyle, baby. Flips and rolls, no problem. <laughs> it never works this well. It's the luck of Rampage, that's what it is. Yo, this is the, just the, 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 the <laughs> thought process behind yeah. that. It's fabulous. It's awesome. Yeah, he, he always comes up with the coolest ideas. I mean, that's the one thing I, I dig about Sean. It's like he thinks of the crazy stuff and he figures out how to make it happen. Sean's a genius. All right, I gotta go. What do you expect otherwise? <laughs> Uh, where in this episode are we at with this, uh, with, I don't, what do you call this, first of all? I'm calling it the tank tank, I guess, because it's kind of like a tank on the ground and a tank in the air. I have made sure that it actually worked, but at this point I don't usually fly at FPV. I usually bring it and surprise the pilot with it. I'm like, hey, let me see what you can do with this. If you break it, so be it. That's how it works around here. So I build it, you break me. it, right? You pick me to fly this. Yeah, so we haven't seen you in a while, Corey. This is going to break. You or guys know that. Get... If you've seen every other episode, anything crazy like this is going to break. So hopefully we make it fly or do roll fly. Yeah, try to with... do something cool before you break it. Okay, so, so the way I set it up was, this is your arm switch like normal on a drone. Yep. Absolutely activates the propellers. Whenever you want to go into car mode, you come down and disarm and activate the car mode. This is the car mode switch. Okay. It's really cool. We're about man. to rip this thing. It's really cool. Man. Sean has way too much time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he just sits at home and just thinks of things, and then he just starts putting <laughs> things like this together. Usually when I come here and I do a project every year, I have most of it already done. I just kind of let the community help me. We literally built this. Oh, so you printed all this stuff while we were I here. designed it and printed it in front of everybody. Like, I literally started in CAD on the computer. This guy's good. Two He's days. Real good. <laughs> so we're gonna fly this thing. Gotta fly it. Yeah, let's put you up in the air. Oh gosh. So if you notice it's starting to freak out in the air, maybe flip it to drone mode, you know? The way we usually do things is proof of concept here. 
Oh, oh it's cool, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> it's spinning out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, one of the motors. Sean, was come on now. Really? That was not user error. At all. That was not user error. I'm look, hands are off the stick. Hands are off the stick. Already broke it? Dang it, Cricket. Bro, it didn't even touch the thing that came off. I don't even hear that. That was not my fault. That was not my fault. He put used motors on there. Okay, sure. I'm just making sure it wasn't me. You guys saw it. Actually, you got... I gotta do both with motors. You know what I don't, I don't think... I don't, you know what I think it was? I think that shit got in there. It probably just got some... No, 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 no. What motors are these? We've been beating on it. I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. You guys wanted a behind the scenes look. This is what really happens. Things break. We figured out, I think, that the magnetic sand over here at the nook got into the motors and it actually killed three of them in like 10 seconds. So we had good success over there at the container chaos. Unfortunately, that means taking everybody that's here and packing everything back up and going over there. And it's a lot of work, but movie magic, you wouldn't have ever seen this happen in a real episode. This is my epi vehicle, by the way. I got it all hooked up with my tools and my drawer in the back so that when I'm in the field, did I just put the C's one back on? I'm an idiot. I literally just pulled the same motor off and put the same motor back on because I was talking to you guys. <laughs> Alright, where's this thing at so I can break it again? Let's... Try to go up high. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! It... You're literally in car mode and now you're in drone mode. Ah! That's exactly what I imagined it would do. That's... <laughs> created something new. It is so cool. People are going to have so much fun with it. <laughs> Alright, I need to build one of these. Yeah. Really in the tunnel. In the tunnel. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> quick, quick. I'm over here by the guy setting up the tent. <laughs> They're going to get mad at me for you flying over there. <laughs> Bro, this is so crazy. Oh, this is going to be so sick. Oh. Be so sick. <laughs> He's driving on top of the budget truck right now. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, on that. oh, sh! We're about to die. Oh, I'm sorry. PG-13. <laughs> Our battery's about to die. 17. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> you go to cargo and roll it back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bro, on the roof, you can just cruise across the roof of it and take off. You don't have to disarm. <laughs> you can just keep it on, keep the props on, and then just ride across. Oh, okay. You know, just it, be there is an air mode switch. If you want to turn off air There's mode, so it switches for me, Sean. <laughs> yeah, this thing on. is, uh, we can do some things. Can I get another battery? Yeah, let's do that. Let's change the battery. This is hilarious. It's awesome. Cricket approved. Well, before play, you break play, it, I want you to try play, one I'm more play. thing, okay? What do you mean try? Now just put the right stick to the right, all, slowly all the way. Do it a little bit at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Every, everybody back up because I'm going to take off from here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This might get really bad, Kazi. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh fail safe, bad RX, throttle, bad RX, throttle, bad RX, disarm. Craft name, acro. <laughs> Is it one piece Is it good? wheels? Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, in usual well. fashion, the episode comes to an end when the Rotor Riot pilots break what I built, right? So, hey, what do you guys think of this episode? Was this a lot of fun? Yeah, doing I, want, I want to build one. Awesome. Yes. I want one. I yeah. think everybody's going to want to build this. I'm going to try to do the best I can to support you in all of the files that you need to put in the radio and to put under the flight controller to make this work. It's pretty goddamn cool. I will tell you that. Thank you. That's awesome. The, I'm glad you all like spin to whatever is, is just crazy. <laughs> I want one. Saw that. Yeah. The, see, that's another thing. If you had more time to like just take this home and just like hang out with it and just do different things, I feel like there's a lot of possibilities that you can really get going with this. It, it's it's pretty awesome. I broke it though, and I feel bad because always everything <laughs> cool that Sean makes, I break. Everybody Nobody does. died. That's it, right. It, it that's was right. perfect. Everybody's yeah. waivers are signed, just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys were not at Road to Ride Rampage 2024, make sure you're here next year. That's right. Make sure you check out the Road to Ride store at RoadToRide.com. Like, subscribe, do all the things. Yeah, press the button. And we'll see you all next right, time so. on Road to Riot. We out! Yeah! Woo! yeah.